which one should you get an epson ecotank printer or an hp printer using the instant ink technology i'll explain to you the key differences between these two concepts then i'll compare the prices to see which one of these is cheaper at the end of the day and at the end i'll go through the positive and the negative of each of these choices so we get a better idea on which one of these you should get so let's get started right away okay so quickly the concept of an eco tank printer is that it does not use any ink cartridges it uses these ink bottles that you open here and you fill up each of these tanks black yellow magenta cyan epson is claiming that this will save you money and we'll see in just a few minutes if this is true on the other hand this is an hp printer but just like i said this applies to any kind of hp printer using instant ink these printers still use ink cartridges one of them is the tricolor that has the color inks yellow magenta and cyan and one of them is black the whole concept of instant ink is that it's a subscription model you do not pay for these ink cartridges so every time these gets empty hp sends you a new set of cartridges without charging you so how do they make their money well they charge you monthly just like your netflix subscription just like any other subscription in on this planet you get charged a certain amount of dollars and they allow you to print a certain amount of pages so the ink cartridges that are inside of your printer are not owned by you if you ever cancel your subscription at any point these cartridges won't be usable anymore it's a bit like if hp rents you some ink cartridges as long as you're subscribed you can use them and the moment you resign these ink cartridges needs to be thrown away because the, uh, the printer will not allow you to print anymore using them you'll need to buy cartridges from the store and by the way that's another thing uh, is after you subscribe to the instant ink program with an hp printer you will not be able to use any other types of ink in the future if you uh, unsubscribe other than the original hp ones this is just something that you need to be aware now let's compare the price of using an epson ecotank printer versus the price you're going to pay using the instant ink program so i did my research because i never run out of ink so epson is claiming that with this bottle a set of bottle like this you should be able to print around 6000 color pages and when i say color pages uh, epson has on their website a small display of what they mean by this it's this kind of pages so you see it's not a full page picture i'm not talking about that it's a page with mostly black ink with some color graphics and sometimes a bit of color on the corner this is on what their calculus is based on so this may not be what you're usually printing so you just have to adjust for this video i will uh, take 5000 has the maximum color pages that you can print with it so they say 6000 i'll just adjust it to 5000 to be a bit more conservative again these are pages with mostly text and some uh, color graphics to buy a set of ink bottles like this one on amazon right now at the moment i'm filming you're gonna pay around 60 dollars actually it's 54.55 but i have adjusted to 60 dollars in case the price increase we know inflation hits hard so to get the color ones plus a black one is 60 dollars and this should give you around 5000 color pages on the other hand for the instant ink program you need to pay one dollar 25 monthly for only 10 pages and by the way you can always roll up a certain portion of the pages that you have not used during the month so for this basic package the basic subscription plan you can roll up up to uh, 30 unused pages then you have 50 pages for 549 100 pages for 749 and 300 for 39.99 and 700 pages for 28.99 and for this last package you can roll up 
2,100 unused pages. So if during a month you're in vacation, you can roll up all the unused pages and you'll have many more than 700, let's say. So let's make a small calculation here. So if you're printing, let's say, 300 color pages per month, the Epson, it will cost you $3.50 to do this. And on the HP, it will cost you $14.99 to do this same exact job. So a huge difference and much, much cheaper on the Epson. If you're printing 600 pages, it will cost you around $7 on the Epson and $28.99 on the uh, HP Instinct Ink printer. Again, very huge difference. If you're printing 100 pages, well, it will cost you about a dollar a buck on the Epson and $7.49 on the HP. Now, this may seem that the Epson EcoTank is completely destroying the HP. And it's true. If you're printing documents that are looking like these ones, the Epson EcoTank makes, makes total sense. But if you want to print full-size photos, so A4 size, full page, glossy paper, these are using a lot of ink and you won't be able to print 5,000 uh, of these pictures. These will use at least five times more ink than the pages I was showing you. What I mean by this is a picture like this, okay? So if you want to print pictures like this, it, they will use a lot of ink. So let's say that the EcoTank is able to print a thousand of these pictures. Okay, so I have reduced the number from 5,000 to 1,000 since this is using at least five times more ink. So for this usage, the Epson EcoTank will cost you about $6 for a hundred of these pictures to get printed. Full page, not bo no border, full colors. The, uh, the HP for the same amount of uh, these pictures will cost you about $7.49. And this is where the instant ink program start to make a tiny bit more sense. It will still be more expensive, but not by much. So if you're only printing big full-size pictures, this is where the HP could make sense for you. Now, there is one important Thing I need to mention and not many reviews are talking about that actually some of them do but uh, some of them try to avoid this when comparing this it's that if your print heads are drying up so if you do not print often and by often I mean it depends in which climate you're living if you're living uh, like over here uh, and I have the my baseboard heating going on 24 7 and the humidity in the air is about 20 percent well your ink will dry up much faster than if you're living in a humid climate but still if you do not use your printer during uh, two weeks there is a good chance that your ink your print head will dry up on both of these and this can cause a lot of damage so on the instant ink if your ink cartridge dries up you can order a new one and they will replace it without you having to pay anything. It happened to me once. I contact them. It was a bit hard to find a way to contact them. I must be honest here. It was quite hard to contact them. But once this, uh, this communication happened, they sent me a new ink cartridge, a, an instant ink, ink cartridge. I just throw in the garbage the old one. I put the new one. I was able to print again. With the Epson, if your print head is clogging up, it will be much more difficult to sort this out. There's many videos on YouTube and go check them out if you want how to get rid of this problem. And they all look like a hassle. They even sell some kits that you need to inject to try to unclog them because the, the ink could be clogged inside of the tubes. And again, this is a major headache. So if you're not careful, this can happen to you. And it will happen to you if you do not use these printers for some time. My suggestion is to at least print once every week with your Epson EcoTank, all the colors, just to make sure that the ink is flowing and nothing dries up. So if you're going into a vacation, ask somebody to print a test picture or whatever, just to make sure that your printer continues to work when you're back. With the HP, 
yes you can do this but at the same time you can also not care because they will just send you a new ink cartridge and the problem will be gone the only thing is you have to wait for that ink the replacement to get shipped and sometimes it can take a week or two and you're not able to print during that period of time okay so the positive side of the epson eco tank so there's no subscription for me this is a big plus sign you don't have to rely on any companies that takes a small amount from your credit card each month second plus size is that it's much cheaper to run if you're printing some color and text documents if you're printing only pictures full-size pictures as well this is cheaper not that much cheaper but still the epson eco tank is cheaper to run the negative point of the epson eco tank is that it's much more expensive to buy this one i think i paid around 200 something dollars from it this one was a lot cheaper maybe i think it was 90 dollars in for black friday uh, last year i don't remember but something like that these eco tank printers are sometimes twice as more as expensive or sometimes triple the price of the hp instant ink printers and the other negative is again if your print head is getting clogged it will be a huge hassle to get this unclogged so make sure you print every week if you can print every three days just a small you know a small thing just to to make sure that this ink is not drying up now for the hp instant ink the only positive thing i can say about it is that you do not have to deal with these clogged printed so if you're somebody that is not careful that you know in advance that you don't want to worry about oh i need to print once a week at least well get the hp instant ink if you have troubles with the ink they will replace it well i hope they still do it that's the only positive side of this printer yes it's also cheaper at first but on the longer run it's more expensive to print with it and the other negative again if you're getting into the instant ink program and you cancel in the future you will not be able to use any third-party ink cartridges in your printer so in my opinion the epson eco tank makes a lot more sense for many people you just need to be careful with the print heads and by the way if you're printing less than a hundred pages per month i think you should not get uh, neither of these just get a laser printer print your black and white pages with it and when you need color maybe from these 100 pages per month 20 of them are pictures or something like that just go to staples or fedex ups whatever and use their services i think that solution is much better if you're printing low amounts so this is it if you have other things that may i have missed in this video please write them in comments down below i'm sure somebody will be very grateful to read uh, them and like subscribe i'll put some amazon links if you want to get uh, these printers from amazon or if maybe some ink for your ecotank printer as well thanks and i'll see you in the next one